So let's have ourselves a sniff of this Commodore Perry IPA by Great Lakes Brewing Company. Fantastic bottle art. Local brewery. Wonderful color. And it says, A British-style IPA named after the man who defeated His Majesty's Royal Navy in the War of 1812? Consider this a bold, hoppy, and mildly ironic plunder of war. Uh, <laughs> Commodore Perry apparently fought against His Majesty's Royal Navy in the War of 1812. Uh, I don't know anything about the man. Uh, I just know that he was a Commodore who fought against the British. So, props to you, old fella. Let's have a sniff. Oh, what do you know? It's uh, British style, so it tries to shank you and rob your shoes. Uh, no, it gets so drunk that uh, it vandalizes a minicab and then falls asleep in the gutter. Uh, that's, that's my theory. Uh, <laughs> Does that joke work for you? I don't. Do they still do minicabs over there? I, I don't know what's happened in Britain over the last however long. Um, typical Tuesday night. Nice. Uh, it's got a nice hoppy flavor, ed, uh, aroma to it. A um, little bit, um, little zesty, little, um, little floral, but not. It doesn't smell fruity to me. It smells more on the bitter side. Um, not a whole a lot of yeast in that nose or anything. Just it's just hops, and uh, and and flowers. Let's give it a sip. That right there is what I would consider a perfectly serviceable IPA. Yes, sir. Uh, there's oh, there's there's a bit of broadness and depth there. Little uh. Yeah, it's not a one-note song. Not a one-trick pony. Got a couple of different notes going on in there. There's um, a high-pitched uh, squeedly deedly dee going on. We're gonna, we're gonna make this into a jazz song, by the way. So there's a clarinet in there going squeedly deedly dee. Um, but there's also um, I don't know whether it's the oboe that's the low end of that, but it's kind of like bo 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 bo. And uh, and then you also got a you know it's got kind of that fizzy texture going on on the tongue. Now I just got a chunk of ice for my glass. I didn't realize that my glass had frozen inside, but it had. It's not just a frosty mug. It was it was an icy mug. Um, that surprised me. It was just ice. At the time that I bit into a corn muffin and it stabbed my tongue because there was glass in it. That was a, a less pleasant experience that time. No, it was just ice. Um, There's a little beet, a little bitterness, bitterness, a little bitterness. Uh, nice and hoppy, uh, roasted hops. Definitely feeling some some. Some of that that roasting process, there's kind of a kind of a, you know, when you get like little crispies, when you cook vegetables in the stove and you get the little crispies on the edges and you're like, mmm, crispies, like that's there's a hint of that in there. And that should have been called the blood corn muffin. It should have been. That was a hell of a day when I when I crunched down on that corn muffin. I love that photo of me just going. It scared the hell out of me. If Great Lakes Brewing ever actually um, watches this review, uh, sorry for interjecting my review of your beverage with the time that I uh, found a piece of glass in my corn muffin and sliced open my tongue. It's an unpleasant uh, comparison. This, uh, I would say, uh, you know how some people say better than a sharp stick in the eye? Uh, this is better than a sharp piece of glass in the tongue. This is, this is quite comfy. This is much more comfortable on the tongue. 
Uh, it's it's rich. It's flavorful. It's a sipping beer. You're not going to gulp this down. And you can take down the the Dortmund or gold. You can just just gurgle it down. No problem. And that's uh, this is the same brewery. This is one that you're gonna you're gonna want to pace yourself with because it's it does have that bitterness, and uh, particularly at the back of your throat, it builds up, gives you a little little sense of oh oh nasty. oh yeah mm. bitter. No, no, no. Uh, I feel like bitter. Maybe the taste buds might be a little further back towards the back of your tongue than the than up on the front. I think maybe the front's sweet and the back is bitter. That's where I'm getting all the the roasty toasty notes and the and the bitterness is on the back of my tongue, and then I'm getting all the sweet stuff. Right down the middle, front of the tongue. Mm, what is that? Mm. Oh, it's a little, little, little grassy, a little sugary. Oh, a little weedy. Mm. Real tasty. That's a good summer beer. Right there. And it is nice and cold. If you are feeling hot.